initializing docking sequence. Pupil pod is now docked. Equalizing interior pressure. Remember, there is no flash photography, loitering, or arson allowed in the gallery. Alert! New arrival detected in the main lobby. Not now, she. I'm having my bi-hourly pondering time. The new pupil will be here any minute, and I must release all of my introspectiveness out into space. Oh, have, have they arrived? Oh, my new pupil! Oh my goodness, you're so cute! Look at your tiny blank face! So happy you could come! <clears throat> uh, she, say hello to our new pupil! Hello to our new pupil! Thank you, she. Mm. Let's start over, shall we? Uh, uh, apologies if I seem out of sorts. It's been many a month since my last pupil died. It is an egregiously large pleasure to meet you. My name is... Hmm. No. Steve? Uh, uh, no matter. Why don't you just call me the curator? Yes. Yes, that makes the right body parts tingle. But, uh, but enough about me. Let us begin your journey. Welcome, my new pupil, to the Gallery of Refined Gravity. She, you, you... Silly girl, remember how we rehearsed this? Engage the Gravitas Protocol. Engaging. Yes, okay. Let's, uh, uh, she, uh, open the lobby door, please. Lobby door, malfunctioning. The main door is still, <coughs> nothing is wrong. Let me just get this open, you, hmm. Ah, onward! This unique gallery is an exploration into artistic expression using groundbreaking technology and cubes. The only rule is no talking ever. All right? Good. She, the elevator. Please enjoy your visit to the gorge. So to appreciate my revolutionary work here, you will need this special glove. I call it the Ah! Approach the pedestal to see if you are worthy and or have opposable thumbs. See, begin the connection sequence. Integrating artistic appreciation enhancement apparatus. Ding! Integration complete. All right, you should be ready. You now have very limited control over gravity. Use that power. Come to me. Jump this petty gap, you glorious fool! Well, somebody has done this before. After you, my new pupil. She, load the theatrics algorithm. Awaiting voice command. Oh, good. There you are. This is the first piece of my gallery. I call this one Ascension. Now that you have the eye here, you have enough memory to store the significance of my work. And free Wi-Fi. Now off you go. Rise to a higher room of artistic thought. All right, so in this first piece, I'm just going to observe you, if you don't mind. This is all for the future of the medium, you understand. I'm also putting on the glove was considered a form of consent to being observed and recorded. Let us begin!
Oh, look at you scaling that symbolism really fast. Wow, that took me four years to build, and you just. I will now tell you a story. A story about a garden of gravity. The garden is quiet. A gorg reminder. Press B to cancel your current gravity field. She! Holy mother of immersion! Just engage the calming ambience! Ambience initialized. Ah, so tranquil. Traverse its valleys, search its nooks, fondle its crannies. Let the story begin. The first stone falls into the river, bringing you goals in sight by disrupting nature. Scaring deer and confusing the birds, this stone judges you. The second stone stays neutral. It does not know you, but likes your face. The first stone judges this new stone. It does this because it is insecure. The third stone disturbs some fish. They jump out of the water for safety and land on the shore. As they slowly die gasping, they attempt to lament the irony. However, they cannot because they are fish. After like 2.5 seconds, they forget they are dying. Imagination. The wavy imaginary moss distracts a deer who runs away immediately into a tree. The fifth stone is a metaphor for distractions. The sixth and final stone is actually just a cube, but it judges me and I hate it. Evacuating is now 42. Ah, oh, little pupil friend, I have a surprise for you. I've added a few new things to this next piece to maximize your appreciation of my genius. Isn't that great? I'm so excited. <laughs> Welcome to the second piece of my gallery. I call this one, Now You Can Die! Alright, we'll go have some fun. And watch your step, if you like feet. Oh, there you are. I'd like to introduce you to a friend of mine. This here 
is Bartholic Cube. He will be assisting you with this particular piece, which is good because he has neither skin nor eyes. Uh, be gentle with him, though. He's really sensitive. Alert. Main generator coolant system malfunction. Ugh. Attempting I'm sorry, manual she repairs. has just been so Failure. desperate for attention lately. Just, coolant reserves just ignore her. For. Penguin pupil initiative. She, you will eventually need to let that go. The mastery of their abstract ice sculptures haunts me. You know what I just realized? I actually hate Bartholocube. Oh joy, we have arrived at the Laser Ocean. To cross this perilous pool of peripheral pulchritude, you must truly understand why the mind fears death. But you also must fear death, because if you fall in, you die. A Gorg reminder. There is no diving in the laser ocean unless a lifeguard is present. You know, after we're finished with this session, I think I'll introduce you to my penguin pupils. You would love them. They have a glorious little playground where they sculpt ice entirely with their little feet. Alert. Main generator is now on fire. Evacuating is now 74 uh, no one cares. She stopped recommending things. Wow, we keep finishing these really fast. Oh, and you still have both of your eyes and feet. Look at you. Thank you. 
for your decisiveness. <laughs> Evacuate now. Thirty-one percent recommended. They were so young. All they needed in life was fish and and not being cooked. They taught me how to care and, and sculpt with feats. Why does everything I love eventually catch on fire? Must I always be alone? Does my brilliance doom me to a life of hollow but deep ruminations? Uh, there aren't enough bi-hourly pondering times in eternity to feel these feels. There's so much pain that it hurts me. Because it's pain. Sorry, how long have have you been standing there? Apologies, I was just marveling at this next brilliant piece and trying to, to get a speck of dust out of my soul. But no matter, uh, welcome to the uh, fourth installation. I call this one... Where am I even? Um, I will tell you at the end. Go on, go appreciate it. Leave me be. This little prism of brilliance is a fieldable cube. I, I noticed how much you liked gravity fields and cubes, so I mashed them together, and they were not happy about it. Oh, um, fun fact. Uh, the fieldable cube weighs about 5.4 metric tons. So it might kill you instantly on impact. Not 100% sure about that, but if you're going to art, be smart. A Gorg reminder. The fieldable cube weighs approximately as much as two adult, female, Asian, elephants. You know, this reminds me. Uh, many pupils have asked, why, why have glass panes in a gallery explicitly to be broken? It seems dangerous and expensive. Oddly enough, pretty much all of the pupils who said that are dead. Now, if you haven't noticed, I love breaking glass and watching people break glass. And you will also notice that I am not dead. Do you see why I instantiated the no talking rule? Bad juju. Thank <laughs> you. 
I, uh, I call this next one not not ready yet. L let me explain. So, you've been appreciating my work aggravatingly fast. And called me a softie, but I don't want you to leave yet. I also ran out of art, so I'm going to build a new piece. Just relax here, read some cube fancy, and I'll let you in when it's ready. There's food in the bathroom, just wash your hands. Alright, C, let's get stuck. I saw this gallery last night in a tree. A Gorg reminder. Dreams are not tangible. Shut up, it. Now, let us excavate this room's deeper meaning. Start the cube drill. I may have just nicked the hull. Alert. Hull fracture detected. That is literally what I is now 89% recommended. The system-wide heuristic intelligence system offers voice control over the entire Gorg facility. I hate you. Now keep drilling! for the 
inconsistent design, my precocious pupil, but I couldn't... I couldn't have your special eyes rubbing themselves all over my less than perfectly polished work. But, now that I have your attention, I have another surprise for you. I've decided that I'm going to keep you here forever! Isn't that great? I'm... Uh, wait, I need... I need better lighting for this. She! Uh, engage the Gravitas Protocol! Engaging. Ah, much more dramatic. <clears throat> so, long story short, I've been struck by fantastical inspiration by my experiences with you. I'm feeling a new phase coming on. A phase of constant and rapid iteration. An agile sort of methodology, if you will. Allow me to explain. In the past, the process of creating a piece and refining it to the point where I'm not ashamed of showing it to people eventually just turned into a waterfall of tears. But, since you've come here, I've been starting to suspect that my work obtains dramatically more meaning when viewed. It's weird. But bringing in new pupils is a very costly and time-consuming process because someone just had to have a gallery in space and I need as many views as possible. As such, I'm just going to keep you here. It's brilliant. I'll make a new gallery every week and have you experience it. Now, to smooth your transition to full-time appreciator, I'm going to set you up in one of the small one-bedroom apartments inside of my special blue cubes. You may have, have seen them around. They are the peak of efficiency, as there is exactly enough room for you to fit inside of each one. It's all very exciting. Ah, you... you seem overwhelmed, which I suppose is understandable. Um, I tell you what, I'll just make silent yet intense eye contact with you until it all processes. That always helps me think.
overcome all of my expectations. I call this one the end.